Well, we got all these parts that have showed up and all this snow and ice dumped all over it. So we've got bumper for the silver truck. We've got wheel spacers. We've got dually adapters for the Jeep, front lift kit for the Jeep, a lot of stuff. So we're gonna get this Jeep fired up and hopefully we can fit it all in this thing and get it on over to the barn. Yeah. I got the bumper behind me here. I'm gonna assemble it, put it on the truck, and then I'll go over with you guys why exactly we went with this bumper. Some of you are gonna be excited about it. Some of you are gonna be disappointed by it, but it's gonna look good on the truck. I'm gonna explain to you why I couldn't go with the bumper that I originally wanted to. It'll all make a little more sense. And here it is, the bumper that you guys have been asking about. And instantly, I already know there's gonna be some comments in the comment section regarding what we had talked about, the possibility of doing. And I was trying to take votes on a ranch hand bumper for this truck and going back between what style and what we should do and whatever else. Long story short, I ended up calling a ranch hand and speaking with them and some of their vendors that sell their bumpers. And the wait time was going to be six to eight weeks to order the bumper and get it by time it would ship not even by the time i got it just by the time it would ship sorry the lighting is it's a, it's that time of day where the sun's going down and everything else essentially i was like well crap that means that if i order it now and keep in mind i was ordering all these parts two weeks before the giveaway even started so before somebody goes in comments and go this is why you should have the truck done before the giveaway starts i ordered everything when the blue first gen giveaway wasn't even over yet i called ranch and talked to him and you know that's just something that i do when i am in a time crunch i try to talk to some of these places that I'm gonna order parts from too. You can ask Reagan. I always call them and I just verify, okay, if I order this part, how long is it gonna to take to get here? Because everybody is held to a, a different standard state to state, county to county right now in these times of this whole, you know, scam, demic, pandemic, whatever you guys wanna call it. That's just what I call it. And then it's screwing everybody over. And now like these guys have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to get stuff out because they don't have as many staff as they usually have because of restrictions. And then the USPS, if they're shipping stuff or UPS or FedEx, or whatever depending on what they're shipping they might not prioritize it as much because it's just like a truck part but like ups around here i had some anthem wheels these wheels and tires needed to be delivered and ups was like oh we can only deliver on saturdays because of the medical demand right now and we ship we're prioritizing medical stuff more than anything else and i don't know if that was just a temporary thing during that month or week or whatever but i'm like are you serious They're like yeah only weekend so pick a weekend in this month we'll drop everything off it's just one of those weird things and i hope you guys understand that like you know when you order your everyday stuff online most of that stuff still can come quick but every company is held to a different standard and every state has different regulations so don't be ignorant where everything's just sporadic right now and it's it's hard to get everything lined up so all that being said i couldn't get the chain that I wanted. Even if I would have ordered it, it wouldn't have gotten here until two weeks after the giveaway was over. And in that point, nobody would have seen a bumper on the truck the entire giveaway that they wanted. And so I was looking at fourth gen bumpers. I'm like, man, so many people hate on fourth gen bumpers. I've done a lot of fourth gen bumpers. And every time I put one on, somebody complains, actually not somebody, lots of people complain about it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do something that most people don't ever do when they're building a truck. And that's put a stock second gen bumper on a second gen. That's what we did. That's what we could get. And this bumper was not freaking cheap. It was almost $600 for a brand new one. For the guys that are gonna ask, well, why on earth would you buy a brand new bumper when you can just buy used on a Facebook Marketplace, go to a junkyard and find one that, you know, truck got T-boned, but the bumper's still fine or whatever. I didn't wanna get a bumper that the front looks good, but everything behind the plastics and the whole back half of the bumper that you don't see is all rusty. I wasn't a fan of that, so I went with this one because everything is brand new, it's more expensive, but I want you guys to have something that's gonna last a long time and not you know, start falling apart as soon as you get it. But another fun part about this bumper is it didn't come with any hardware, so I actually had to um, get these real small bolts. They're not, they're not real big, they're just the little one inch, three eighths bolts, and I basically ran them all the way along the bottom of the valance there. Might seem overkill, 
uh, but I think it looks good. And if you stand back here, you can notice those bolt heads underneath, but they're shiny, they're new, and they actually look in place because obviously they're just where all the normal cheap plastic clips would have been. But I couldn't find any and they didn't come with a bumper, so I don't know why, but this thing didn't have like most of the hardware. So I had to go to the store and buy everything to put this thing together. So I hope you like it. I know it's not a ranch hand. I tried my best. I called around once I took all the votes on it and nobody could get me one for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ahead. And even this one, I ordered it early when the giveaway just started and it took three weeks for this bumper to come in. So our next step in this video is going to be trying to transform this beautiful Jeep into a dually. And you're probably wondering, how are you going to make the Jeep a dually? Well, this, is how we're gonna do it. Five by four and a half to eight lug adapter. Introducing the Mega G. What the hell is even that? This thing looks so cool. It's not rubbing on anything. It's clearing completely. And the thing is, I actually bought eight spacers so I could do four two inch spacers plus the one inch five by four and a half to eight on six five adapters. So there's gonna be a total of five on each side and a total of nine inches of increased clearance to stick them out past the fenders. But I might save that for another video because I only had to put on the adapters and then I just put one eight on six five adapter on top of that. Super cheap ones, by the way. I don't recommend putting these on your vehicle and flying down the road. It should work out just fine for what we're doing. As long as the rear end doesn't blow out from having to try to turn all this uh, weight, because there's a lot of it there. breaks it well Elijah broke it but then it, it was just fixed it, it just started working again so she's gonna take a rip and uh, I want to see what it looks like from outside of the Jeep forward 
You gotta be quicker. It'll come out of there. Here, here. You film me do it. Mega Jeep is handling the snow very well with the dually rear end. I'm actually super surprised. Even when we thought it was stuck, it came right out. So yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see us add more spacers to the rear end, let us know. It's super functional the way that it is. Or we could add those spacers a couple to the front end and then actually put the dually front wheels and tires on as well. But uh, that's all up to you guys. We do have a new lift going on this thing as well though and new front shocks and stuff because it's so rattling the front end because the shocks are blown so just like smacking on the coils. Before we go out of this video, if you have not done so yet, you're down to the last 12 days to enter to win this truck. It ends on February 15th. So if you haven't gotten your entries, it's this easy to get entered to win that truck. Go to lmpgear.com, links in the description if you don't want to have to type it in. Buy anything off the store. We have new coats that we just released, hats and a whole bunch of all kinds of new stuff, right Reagan? Tons, right. Of new, tons of new stuff. If you wanna go get that stuff, grab it while you can, because this giveaway is ending soon. As soon as you check out with anything that you purchase, you're automatically entered to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. We're not done with it yet, but we're getting very close. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.